right here there you go all right so i'm gonna sacrifice and sweat for a few seconds girl it's 81 degrees out here and it is hot so really quick i want to tell you the plans for today i have to go to the store because i want to pick up a poster board i don't know if i'm able to get that today because that would cause me to go to the city and i didn't plan on doing that today but the next thing is i want to work on my itinerary and travel plans because i mentioned in the last vlog that we are getting ready to go on a trip it's going to be a seven or eight day trip for us, so I cannot wait to get started. I want to go ahead and get those things, and then I'm going to share with you like how I start planning. We're not going to be prepping or anything today, but I do want to go ahead and just get the initial things. I love all of those things like organization, buying pens, getting notebooks, all of that type of things when it comes to projects for me because it helps me plan things out. Like I'm somebody who likes to write things down and just try and have things in order as much as I can to kind of save me from anxiety. So I have been working on our itinerary and our trip overview. The itinerary is going to be something digital that I'll have kind of just keep on my phone. Working on like the colors and everything. Let me show you what I have so far y'all. Hold on. This is the trip overview. You can get this off Etsy. This is a Google spreadsheet and I did change the font and the picture and the color based on what I like. Let's go on to the travel expenses. So you're gonna write down everything that you have that you need to do. So the date, the category, the description, the amount, the payment method, all of that is included. Again, hopefully y'all can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. So next, you even have your daily itinerary in here, which I love so much. So now I don't have to have a separate itinerary. A checklist, which is just the list of things that you need to do to prepare yourself for the trip. So you have your when you book, and then we have that plugged in, the list of things to do. So when it gets closer to the departure date, you can take out your trash bins, water your plants, turn off your appliances. We have a packing list up here. And for our packing list, I color coded ours. So I did mine pink and I did Ryan and the boys blue. Last thing is your reservation tracker. I still need to go in and change like the font for this one, but then you have like your flights. Um, you can put the times that you, your flights are there, your accommodations for your hotels if you're staying at any, your car rental, any activities that you have. All of this is super, super helpful if you're going to any restaurants. So all of this is stuff that I still need to plug in. But I just wanted to share this tip with you that you can go on like Etsy or even Pinterest for trip overviews if you want to you know, do your own or just get inspiration. Since it is on Google Spreadsheet. I can even have it to my iPad. I can have it to my phone. And I can even print it out if I want to. So it's something I definitely recommend for you girlies if you're planning a glam getaway as well. It will save you time, especially if you plan it in enough time to actually do this. If you're not really a planner, you don't have to worry about this. But I did want to share these tips with you because it does help me. And I am going to be using this for our trip back home. I've been working on this probably for about an hour. So I'm going to take a little break now. The itinerary I'm still working on. So I'll show you when I'm finished with that. But I want to have it very similar. Like I like all of my things to kind of look unique. Just a part of my brand. So that's why I have been working so hard on this. And once I have all of this filled out, it'll make the trip a whole lot easier for me. Even planning the trip and just things that we need. Because I'll have everything written down. I think I'm going to take a break right now. Probably stop the vlog for today. And I'll probably pick it up again tomorrow. Because I am going to chill. It's Saturday. I want to watch a few of my shows finish reading some of my book. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys, I'm getting ready to the store real quick. Hold on. So I have y'all at a weird angle. I have to turn my navigation off.
just went to the store real quick. I wanted to go inside to see if they had poster boards in there. And of course I got caught up in like the fragrances and the beauty section. So I wanted to see what they had. They do have one fragrance in there I am interested in. So I'm kind of just waiting to see if it goes on sale. Girl, I got to turn the car on. It's hot. It is hot. Move in the store like I said to look for a post board because I wanted to do my vision board I have a digital vision board it's just like a small little one but I like to really go in depth with my vision boards I haven't done one in a few years and I can really tell the difference I feel like I haven't been holding myself accountable when it comes to certain things or I wouldn't make it because I was like I don't need one you know I know what I want I can keep it up in my mind but to be able to see things and to be able to check them off some things you actually forget that you had on your vision board. So I wanna make one, maybe even frame it, we'll see. I just wanna make it fun. So that's something that's gonna be on my list of things to do. Next day and I am in my beauty room. I've been thinking about a few things of what I wanna do in here and I don't have everything together but I do know that I do wanna switch my vanity around. So right now I have it over here like in the corner. Ignore everything that's up there cause that's gonna be cleaned but I think I do want it this way. So we were able to move the vanity over in front of the window. So we just have that here. I just decided to put the little pink cushion thing right here. I still am looking for my extension cord so then I can have that underneath the back of the vanity and then I won't have those two cords coming out from both sides. So once I find my extension cord care of that and then I feel like this little area look a little bit better. I still have my mirror here and then I wanna look for a rug. I'm gonna see if I can find one um, within the next couple of weeks. I'm not really pressed for a rug right now, but I do want one. I had a few pictures I was gonna put on the wall, girls, but I went to the garage to look for it and one of them was broken. So, won't be hanging those up. Okay, so our mini cooler is gonna go in another room or the garage. I'm not gonna keep it in here. And then this little nook I'm gonna keep because it's underneath the window and that's gonna be like my little reading nook over here. Let's test this mirror out really quick. I wanna be able to do outfit of the days right here. And I'm just trying to see if I have enough light, which I should, but yeah. I just, I like this so much better because I can just have y'all propped up right here. I can do my makeup tutorials right here with the light from the window. I don't even have my vanity lights on. All I have is my light that's overhead up here and then I have my light from the window. So that's all the light I have. If I'm really picky, then I can just turn my vanity light on as well, and that'll light up both sides of my face so it's not just one side that's dark. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for a few minutes and try and work on a few things. I told myself I need to work on my LTK and just trying to start doing more outfit of the days and just trying to get more across social. If you're new or you're into social media and you have an LTK or you don't have one, you can sign up for it. You just have to have like a, consi a consistent platform that you are on, numbers where people engage with you. So for the most part, when they see that, they'll accept you into LTK. And then once you have an LTK, which you guys, I have dropped the ball with that this this year and last year, I'm not even gonna lie. Now that LTK has like videos and stuff, I feel like it'll be a little easier for me to kind of go up there and just kind of put what I have on from the videos and just kind of make like little reels and stuff that I would do for YouTube or Instagram and just plug it into my LTK already. I've, I've always loved having a blog. It's just like my own little piece of the internet, like, if social media were to go down, you know, like Instagram would be shut down, TikTok, I'd have my blog and I'd have my own, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about anybody taking something from me. With when whatever 
platform works for you the best. Like if Snapchat works the best, then be consistent on Snapchat. If Instagram works for you the best, if you find it's easier that you can incorporate your everyday life into that social media, then do it. Instagram, stick with that. If YouTube is what you can do, do YouTube. If you can only do shorts, do that. That's what I recommend. Like just get out there, put yourself out there. You never know what can happen or what you can do when you apply yourself. So it's so much content, even if you feel like it's boring, because I felt like that's been a hold up for me for the longest time. I always felt like my life is boring. I'm a little older. I'm not really doing as like, I'm not doing what I did like in my late twenties. During that time frame, I was going out to the clubs like every single weekend with my friends. Like I was drinking then. I was never a heavy drinker, but I was drinking then. And I just never, like really liked how I felt the next day. So once I found out I was pregnant, then I stopped drinking because I was even drinking before. And then I found out I was pregnant and I was like, okay, I'm not drinking anymore. So I feel like that content would have been the content that probably would have brought me views in. But during that time, vlogs weren't really what they are today. Like it was just, it was more so beauty content that was really, you know, where I felt I was connected. Even if you feel your life is boring, it's someone feel like that content is relatable. Like we all go to sleep, we all get up in the morning, we are things that are relatable. So just I am start. waiting on Trey to get out of school. I ran some errands this morning. I went to Walmart and picked up a few things. So I'll show you when I get home. I am on my time. So I haven't been vlogging the past couple of days. I actually took a break maybe four or five days ago. I did my lashes last week and last week's vlog and showed you guys, I think I showed you, yeah. Yeah, I did it in last week's vlog. And I kind of feel like I'm ready for a new set of lashes too. Like I just want to kind of do some self care and just kind of like up my mood a little bit. Cause I've been down. I don't know if it's just because being on your time, it just kind of makes you feel like in your emotions, like your hormones and everything. But that's where I've been, like in my feelings the past couple of days. I don't think it's anything that's bothering me, but I just want to kind of reset and just recharge. So I've been taking a break for the, like I said, this week. I already have videos filmed, so I don't really feel pressed. Like I need to hurry up and, you know, record. And that's one thing that I'm happy about. Like when I was on my momentum, I was just like filming multiple videos at once so i'm ahead of the game which is good so i can actually take a break but i need to get back on it so that i can continue being consistent i'm gonna grab something to eat the boys are probably gonna go to the gym later on i don't think i'm gonna go with them normally i do but for the past couple of weeks i've been staying like at home and doing girly things and just trying to enjoy my time instead of just hanging with the boys like i enjoy hanging with them but I'm just trying to make that time for me. So I think I'm going to do that again today. Mm -hmm.